In this video, we're going to take a look at copyrightly.com, and I'm going to show you what it does. But I'm going to show you how it saved me a lot of problem by preventing me from putting plagiarized content on my website. So stay tuned for that. Hey, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss back with another video. And today I'm going to take a look at this product called Copy rightly.com so I like their website you know well well done website and we talk a lot about content improvement SEO this product does that plus a little bit more if you look at their tool section plagiarism checker that's that's I, I don't have a tool in my toolkit right now for that now of course if you upgrade to the premium version of Grammarly you get that that's kind of expensive um also there's some other tools out there that, that give you that but this is pretty cool that they have this included with the grammar checking they've got some readability keyword density all sorts of things here that you can use to help improve your your content and then if you look at the pricing it's not insane they've got personal plans all the way up through larger plans and they give you various amounts of words that you can have in your content and how many how many uh, documents you can do per month and things like that so uh, definitely check that out and they have a yearly plan that reduces that price a little bit but what I like is they do have a free trial so that's what I'm gonna try today and I would encourage you to take a look at as well now this does work as a Chrome plugin um, so I'm going to uh, use Chrome for this and I'm not sure if it works on Firefox or so far I think it's just Chrome so for now but I do I think they do have plans to upgrade that so let's go ahead and try this for free I'm gonna go ahead and put my textmartboss.com email in the here and give it a password and sign up now the free trial from what I was looking at is really it's limited that was my little remember password manager there I, I, I've always recommended remember dot com as the um, password manager check out our website for more on that but you'll see it took me right into their platform now you know maybe you don't need that Chrome extension because I haven't installed any sort of extension at this point so maybe the Chrome extension is just a plus it'll get your content in there a little bit faster we'll find out let's keep going here alright so let's do their onboarding what kind of work do I do well let's just say I am a owner and hit submit now that, that probably does nothing at all for the product but it helps them understand who their market is so they can do a better market product fit all right so you can kind of see here very clean interface not a lot to to check out here right away I can just copy and paste some text in there uh, or I can pull it from a URL now I've, I've heard and I've, I've seen people complain about that the URL especially if you're using page builders like Elementor and things like that doesn't work extremely well it's gonna bring in all that HTML content so I think of just my advice right now I think the best thing to do is to work uh, and just copy and paste your text and that's what we're gonna do here in a, a second now also you'll notice language they actually support a lot of different languages and that's one thing that I see about these guys that's a little different from some of the other tools that we've looked at. I mean, if you think about what we've talked about at TechSmart Boss on our podcast, our website, and other YouTube videos, we've got other tools in our stack like this, like Web Text Tool, great for this sort of thing. Uh, Story Chief has a great SEO content. Uh, content Studio has a little bit of this built in, but none of those have that plagiarism checker, which which I'm pretty interested in. So let's let's continue to see before we put some text in here. Let's see what else they have. They're also doing a little bit of uh, search engine result page keyword uh, research for you so that that's pretty interesting that you'll notice here you can put in some keywords pick your Google search engine and put in URLs to compare so that's kind of neat history we don't have any history yet but this is where everything we do will show up in the history section from the content checking to that search engine result page checking let's see what this one is here this is a uh, keyword unique identifier so I could Put in a bunch of keywords and it'll do something there we might do that now this is what I was saying about the limitation of the free trial you'll see here we could do five document checks and task is what I believe they call those search engine keyword research tasks so you're limited that doesn't renew monthly that's just what you get 
you can see here you can switch your overall language of the product from English to to, to RU which is uh, Russian all right let's go ahead and pop in some 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 content and see what what happens and now I've kind of primed the pump on this one because I've got some content here that someone sent me I, I, I copied it over in my little pastebin.com here so I can easily highlight it and copy it for you um, somebody sent me this and said hey free content for you it's unique publish it on your website and I thought I mean it's really well written I thought and I was ready to do it but the plagiarism checker saved me in this product I'm going to show you how it did this I'm going to go ahead and copy and I'm just going to paste that all in here I don't have to worry necessarily about the the formatting and things like that so you'll see I've got I've got all that pasted let's actually paste the uh, let's take that title and put it here where it says title because that affects your 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 SEO and you'll notice here word count and it sends me a little message there are enough words entered click on the check if I did have this on a website I could put this URL here and then of course when it does this plagiarism checker it doesn't flag you it's plagiarizing yourself so that that makes that makes perfect sense all right let's check this out and see all that copyrightly can do I feel like I've been um, put into suspense a little bit too much all right and, and here you go you see now I have get all this information updating over here on the side and you'll notice that a couple things are going on one it's got my formatting I can quickly go in here and highlight text and select the format tag of it if I want to change you know that always drives sort of your SEO rate ranking now you'll notice that it started on keyword stuffing it says I'm bad I got some keyword stuffing issues and in essence it's saying I'm using the word data 56 times which is almost 5% of this article and you'll see here it has that all underlined in red that doesn't mean that data is spelt wrong or is grammatically wrong like you would see with a, a, a grammarly that means that that's just showing me all the cases where I've got data in this article so that might be a case where you'll see what to fix it gives me some tips here it says maybe reduce it down to 34 times so that's, that's pretty useful right there let's turn the stimming off and you'll see that it, that that takes away all the different variations of that word you'll see ETL popped up 22 times let's put the stimming back on and I'll see ETL integration pops in 26 times so you can play around and understand and make sure because Google doesn't like keyword stuffing I mean that's what the basic point is keyword stuffing is a bad thing and I can look at for example what's my double word keywords data integration that's pretty good no problem there data integration solutions three times so I can kind of see if I'm overusing my keywords too much uh, and that, 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 that that works pretty well they also have these things called stop words and these are things that I guess can just slow the reader down and um, you know just make make too much text redundancy and you'll see here and using the word and a lot if I click on that you'll see it shows me all the places I've used the word and and the I don't know if you can get around that I mean those are just words you gotta use as you're typing but yeah it does look like I'm using a lot of ands in this text so that, that's just stuff to see there that's bad all right, redundant phrases. I got a green check mark, so I don't. Ha I only have two redundancy words. It's telling me that I can probably change the wording of that. So that's like a little bit of a advanced grammar type checking there. That's pretty cool, but I'm pretty good in that. However, doesn't like when I use however. I click on that. It tells me the sentence, and it says I can get rid of it. So that's interesting. Readability. It's telling me that academically this is a, I'm at a college graduate which I would expect we're talking about ETL tools in this article uh, and but it's hard to read so I can go through so again it's giving me fixes it's telling me this is a long sentence that does look pretty long I, they advise you not to use more than two long sentences at once let's see what else they got here again long sentences uh, what's this one here long two sentences so I just got a whole bunch of two long sentences in a row here so that can help you out there let's look at relevance so this is a uh, keywords here let's say if I'm looking to focus on ETL tools in this article and uh, well that gave me some some Russian text back so I don't quite know what that says but I think I'm okay with that let's go ahead and look at keyword check and let's put ETL tools in this I think this is almost like yeah so it just gets me back to what I saw in keyword stuffing so I might want to bump that up 
I don't have to. So you'll notice that this is not giving me everything that a story chief and a web text tool would give me. They would give me recommendations like, you know, add ETL tools, more MNI in my subheaders and things like that. I think the, the real strength of this is just the overall writing capability in the grammar. We haven't gone to grammar. That's just what I was saying. It's the grammar checking side of things um, that you can get from this as well. So you can see here I got some punctuation errors. Let's see. Yeah, therefore, there should be a comma right there. That, that's not there. Let's see if I can change that. Yeah, I can click on that and change that. That's pretty cool. You'll see everything starts to update when I do that. Possible typos. These typos uh, are, are just technical terms, so I should be able to save those. Uh, smart quotes. Looks like looking for some stuff there. Miscellaneous word repetition. That's just a subheading. So you can kind of see that it's catching all those grammar mistakes and so I got a lot of grammar errors again I didn't write this I got this free now this is what I really like about it I saved this for last is the uniqueness this is the plagiarism checker I'm gonna go ahead and rerun that one more time now I actually made a couple corrections so that's probably gonna lower my plagiarism check in there because the original articles basically what I found out is this two two other websites had this article almost word for word. And check it out. 96.2% match on this company. 95.6% match on that company. And then I can see 10% matches on down. That's really not plagiarized, but something to look at. Now what's nice is if I click on this, it's going to show me everything that's plagiarized. So so literally, these, these dudes, just, just a couple words, they changed. They changed this one key feature there for some reason. And that's it. I can click here and it'll actually take me out and show me this article on their page. So the guy who sent me this pretty much just straight up lied to me. He sent it to a bunch of people and um, and they published it. Let's take a look at this one. Same thing. Looks like the same pieces are different. So maybe he, so I guess in his mind, because he changed a few things here, maybe key feature number one, he called this unique for me, but I was able to detect it with this tool. Now let's look at some of these other ones that are not as plagiarized, 9.9%. .9%. And you can kind of see, this is what I typically see when I put my content in here. Some words, I mean, we're talking about technical topics. You, you just can't avoid using words like management and ETL combined management platform. You know, of course, this article, let's click on this article and see what they're talking about. It's probably nothing to do with, yeah, it's talking about one specific product. Informatica, which is featured in this one as one of the tools. So yeah, there's some overlap, but it's not plagiarized. In fact, I, I don't see any paragraphs or sentences that were completely copied. And that's what I like about this. I can just scan it and see really quickly on that. So I like it. I like it's a good tool. I, I like the plagiarism tool the most. So check it out, copy rightly. And now that I've got that there, that's going to be in my history. And what's nice about this history, again, I, I should point this out, is that I can come back in the future and from the history go back into this article and check that plagiarism again so I can keep an eye on it and see if anybody does use that in the future or if they're out there copying my stuff as well which is, is really nice and you can also get a little URL to share this so that somebody else can on your team can take a look at all those keyword uh, grammar issues and things like that and they can work on it as well. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our Facebook page and go out to techsmartboss.com and see all the things that we're doing out there. Talk to you in the next video.